Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. A cyclist dies days after being struck by two cars last week and one driver is facing charges. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7 tonight. I'm Lena Bleets. We begin with top stories sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A bicyclist is dead days after being struck by two vehicles in East Las Vegas. 59-year-old David Brooks died Friday three days after the crash. According to police, Brooks was heading north on Nellis Boulevard when he moved into the path of a Dodge Dakota. When the Dodge struck his bicycle, police say Brooks was ejected and hit by an oncoming Chrysler. The driver of the Dodge, 44-year-old Anthony Tate, was arrested and is facing charges of DUI, driving without a license, and possession of a controlled substance. The Clark County Coroner's Office identified the woman allegedly shot to death by her boyfriend in a West Valley apartment. According to a Coroner's Office report, 32-year-old Megan Ruiz died from gunshot wounds to the torso. Her boyfriend, 30-year-old Jimmy Ramirez, was booked into the Clark County Detention Center on suspicion of open murder. Police say Ramirez told officers he shot her on July 3rd as she was experiencing a manic episode. He is set to appear in court July 24th. With all eyes on President Joe Biden's status in the 2024 election, his running mate defended him at a campaign stop in Las Vegas. Kamala Harris spoke to Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander communities to rally support for November's election. Harris supported Biden's presidential run and addressed calls for him to step down. The one thing we know about our president, Joe Biden, is that he is a fighter. He is a fighter. And he is the first to say, when you get knocked down, you get back up. We all know, many of us know what that is. So we continue to fight and we will continue to organize. And in November, we will win. Harris covered a number of issues, including Project 2025, student loan debt, and reproductive rights. So make no mistake, if Trump gets the chance, he will sign a national abortion ban to outlaw abortion in every single state. Donald Trump has said that the issue of abortion belongs to the states and he would not sign a ban. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your gardens partner for every bloomin' thing. The excessive heat warning continues, lasting through 11 p.m. Friday as we come off another hot day. Things should cool down overnight with temps in the high 80s tonight. Looking at a high of 118 tomorrow and Thursday, then 115 Friday and 112 Saturday, with lows in the low 90s and upper 80s all week. On Sunday, we should drop down a little with highs expected in the upper 100s through the first half of next week and lows in the mid 80s. Plus, the clouds are expected to start rolling in on Thursday and lasting throughout next week. In business news, a Las Vegas company with French roots is expanding its operations with a 20,000 square foot facility in northwest Las Vegas. Nuvo is a company that converts Dodge Promaster vans into small camper vans with a bed, kitchen, and toilet. The company was founded in March 2020 by three French friends who started converting vans during the pandemic. Nuvo decided to place its operations in Vegas due to the area's friendly business and tax environment, and also because Las Vegas is the perfect place to start a road trip. With multiple national parks within a day's drive, Nuvo found Vegas to be a popular place for its customers. Sports sponsored by PT's Taverns, your place to watch all the sports action. With over 65 locations, there's a PT's near you. Visit ptstaverns.com. Tickets for the PBR Challenger Series Championship are officially on sale. The Professional Bull Riders Championship will visit the South Point Arena and Equestrian Center October 16th and 17th to crown the Challenger Series Champion. Tickets range from $15 to $100. It can be found at the South Point Arena box office or online at Ticketmaster.com. In Health News, brought to you by Centerwell Senior Primary Care, discover primary care focused on you. The start of the school year is just over a month away and there's still time for students to get their mandatory vaccines. The Clark County School District requires all students enrolling in school to be vaccinated for certain viruses and diseases like chickenpox, hepatitis A and B, polio and measles. 
12th grade students must receive the meningococcal vaccine. The Southern Nevada Health District has several clinics where students can get their vaccines. To book an appointment, visit snhd.info slash BTS. Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Tom Brady's bid to buy a minority stake in the Raiders could be getting a big push from a former teammate. Hall of Fame defensive tackle Richard Seymour is reportedly teaming up with Brady to purchase a 10.4% stake in the club. Brady and Seymour are expected to bring their own partners with them to complete the deal, according to Pro Football Talk's Mike Florio. While there's been no comment from the Raiders or the NFL, Brady and Seymour's bid could be approved at the NFL fall owners meetings in October. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Wimbledon is winding down and defending champion Carlos Alcaraz is a plus 120 favorite at the Westgate Superbook to win the men's singles title. Novak Djokovic is a plus 150 second choice followed by Daniil Medvedev at 6-1 and Taylor Fritz at 14-1. Elena Rybakina, the 2022 champion, is a plus 105 favorite to win the women's singles title with Jasmine Paolini listed as a plus 350 second choice. Donna Vekic is next at 6-1 while Yelena Ostapenko is plus 650. In lifestyle news, two brothers and their sister are looking to be adopted. 7 at 7 Espanol anchor Rosano Romero has more. As part of Clark County's Find My Forever campaign, today we have the story of three siblings, Imaila, Peter, and Anthony. They are now under the care of the family services, but they wish to have a new home and grow up together under the same roof. My name is Imaila. Es mi hermano, Pedro, y mi hermano, Antonio. I mean, as long as I'm with my brothers, I'm happy. They drive me crazy, but maybe they're the reason why I have a little gray hairs, but you know. So these kids have been through the ringer, um, unfortunately, so we're hoping to change that for them. Uh, we really are looking for a family that's going to be able to commit. To see their complete story, go to our channel here on YouTube. Look for Las Vegas Review Journal en Español. If you are interested in adopting a child future in a Find My Forever profile, please email the address shown on your screen. Back to you. Now for entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's with live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Spice Wannabe, the Spice Girls tribute, is calling it quits at the Excalibur. The last performance for the production is scheduled for July 28th. The show's founder says it was extremely popular with Spice Girls fans, but failed to drum up big enough audiences to keep it going. She says the show will now probably go on a road tour. SPI Entertainment, the company behind the production, says it's working on a replacement, but that it probably won't debut until 2025. Thanks for watching 7 at 7 tonight. Watch 7 at 7 twice a day, Monday through Friday, and search Review Journal to follow us on your favorite streaming platform. We'll see you tomorrow morning for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.